Welcome back to White Mountains today. I am joined in studio now by Doug Garland, who is the owner of Bear Notch Ski Touring in Bartlett, New Hampshire. Thanks for joining us this morning. Cool. What was that? Cole. Oh, Cole. It is a family yes. operation over my, there at Bear Notch. My brother and I run that, yeah. Uh, we're going to be giving away a two free trail passes, two adult trail passes, to one lucky watch and winner at the end of this interview. So get ready to call 356-6619. That's area code 603-356-6619. And pay attention because the answer to the question may be somewhere in this interview. <laughs> so, we, well, we talked about this being a family-owned operation. How long yep. have you guys been running Bear Notch. It's the 19th season. 19th right? season. season. Yeah, we started out with just a donation box. It was actually John's brainstorm. You know, we had the property and it's, it's such good, beautiful property. Yep. I mean, it was so pristine. And we always get more snow than anybody else, it seems like. So John, you know, he came into, and at first I thought, geez, this sounds like a lot of work. And it, and it was. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at first we started with a donation box and we had a suggestion box right beside it. Yep. And we got both donations and suggestions, which was a good thing. The donations were reasonable and the suggestions were that they wanted um, more trails. Yep. They loved the network, but they wanted more to ski on. They wanted a, a warming station, some place to take a break. And then, so we, we gave them those two things and we incorporated rentals and skiing lessons and everything else into it. So we've become a full service touring center. Right, now let's describe the property a little bit. Uh, Bear Notch Ski Touring, uh, cross country skiing and snowshoeing. What will people find when they come to Bear Notch? Well, you're going to find some of the most beginner-friendly terrain down by the Saco River you're going to see in the whole valley. If we can get a beginner out to the Saco River, first time out, never skied before. Uh, it's flat, other than going over a set of railroad tracks, you get mm -hmm. down to the Saco River and enjoy Mother Nature at its best. It's the upper Saco River Valley, and it's just absolutely gorgeous out there. Um, I don't think any other touring center can actually claim that. Mm. Then on the other side of the road, we have rolling hills for intermediate skiers that go into challenging hills. Mm. And we have long and leggy skis for people that just want to burn up some Ks. Yep. So I, I, I pretty much guess we got it all. Yeah, one of the nice things, you mentioned your beginner terrain, and you can get out to some of the more scenic views in all of the Mount Washington Valley very easily, even for first timers. Yes. And I think that's one of the things that, you know, I don't know if it deters people, but it's frustrating for a first timer when you're limited to the amount that you can do because exactly. of, of your ability. This way, everybody gets to go out and see these right. waterfalls and yep. rivers right off the bat. Oh yeah, it's scenic and simple out there. I mean, it's absolutely, it is really gorgeous. It's pristine is what it is. And we were just watching some video footage. You may have seen a furry four-legged creature running along with some skiers. You guys do allow dogs on the trails. Well-behaved dogs are welcome and well-behaved customers. And it, it works out very well. It, it, it's an exceptionally good deal for most people. Most pet owners love it. Yeah, most pet owners, and, and there's nothing like skiing with your dog. I know we've brought my dog there before, and once you get out on the trail, uh, the do you can just see the smile on the dog's face oh, yeah. as, as the tongue is wagging in there. They get to know they're on the way to Bear Notch about the time they get to Batlet Blinking Light, I think. If people show up and the dogs are just so excited to be there. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Uh, let's talk about conditions, because it's uh, obviously the big news is we had a lot of rain over the last couple of yes. days. Leading up to it, we had such a great November and December, yes. and then it was just uh, kind of disheartening to, to see all this rain falling, but you're saying Bear Notch actually has held up very well. We survived the rain pretty good. You know, we set ourselves up, that early weather, that early snowstorm was a blessing, you know, mm. from Thanksgiving right to just prior to the rain. We had some fantastic skiing. Just before that, people coming back saying it's the best skiing they've been on any time of the winter. It was wow. that beautiful sugar granular mix. Yep. But we didn't overgroom it. You know, we, there's been a couple of weather events prior to this that if we groomed it we would have packed it down mm -hmm. and once it's packed down it's packed down and it would turn to ice and the only reason we survived well there's two reasons why we survived that weather event so well is because we're conservative on our grooming so the rain penetrated through it and it leaves us some snow plus up in that neighborhood we had been getting more snow I mean we got three inches of snow prior to the rain starting and we closed for two days just to let it drain yep. and dry out thank God one of them was Christmas we we're gonna close anyway so, right. <laughs> so we didn't lose too badly but I was absolutely amazed when I came up today. A lot of the real trouble spots that I expected to see weren't trouble spots. Usually we, we get wiped out across the road, the water will eat through the snow just for a little bit and we have to go back and shovel it in. Well, no, the good news today is none of that happened. You know, it was absolutely great. And then we had the wind, which is a little bit of a nuisance, but more of a blessing than a nuisance because it dried out the snow. And when I left, John was out there grooming it out with the piston bully. It got cool enough so we could get the big groomers on it. And it was coming out as a beautiful, loose, granular, wet snow mix. Nice. And, uh, setting a track and everything was coming out great. So you're expecting a great day today for oh, yeah, certainly, classic yes. skate, what do you classic think? Classic and skate will both go well today. You know, the snow was so dense prior to 
you know, we'd let it sit so long, it was so dense that even though it's soft, you're still going to skate on it well. And it's got a high enough moisture content now, so it's not going to have too bad a drag to it. Uh, we were, the summit was reporting winds on the, in the higher elevations. I don't think it's going to be bad today in the lower elevations, but even if it does get a little bit breezy in the woods, it should be perfect. That western portion of our network is wind protected. It's, it's a haystack range works as a wind fence of some sort. It goes yep. up over your head. Once you get out of that first meadow, the upper meadow, you go up in the woods, you forget about the wind. You hear it a little bit, but you forget it's there yep. until you come back around the corner again and it's still there. <laughs> you, you mentioned your brother John is grooming out right now. I've always wondered what time does he start grooming on a, the day after Christmas? Well, usually way re really early, but because of the texture of the snow today, we had to wait for it all night long for it to get set up. So this morning, I think he only went out around 6 o'clock. Okay. But, uh, but that was just because the longer we let it set up and dry out, the better it was going to groom out. Yep. But on a normal day, he, it would be uncommon to see him out there. Well, he might be finishing up at 6 o'clock. Yep. <laughs> you know I mean, so it's a, it has a little bit to do with the quality of the snow and the timing of the event, you know. But... It's usually really early. Great skiing for adults, for kids, for first timers, for dogs. Yep. Well, maybe they won't be skiing, but they'll be enjoying the, uh, the, the trails. Uh, one thing we didn't mention is the, the most uh, crucial. Where are you located? Oh, 3.7 miles west of Aditash. Most okay. people know that. If you come into Bartlett Village, you're going to see a blinking light. You go one mile left oh, west, and we're right on the left hand side. We have a flag out. And, and the other thing we didn't mention that was along with those tickets that you're going to give away here, that we allow kids accompanied with an adult, even if they get the pass for free, to ski for free. So 16 and under skis free. 16 and under skis free? Free, when they're accompanied by a paying adult. And that's, that's, that's family friendly. Is it every day? That's every day. 16 and under is free. At, when at skiing with a company to, accompanied with a paying adult. So wow. that's family friendly. That is very family friendly. <laughs> yeah. So mom and dad go, you buy a couple of trail passes, you go out, yeah. and the kids ski with you for free. Up to 16. That is family friendly, uh, and you may want to put an extra couple of dollars in the uh, the the honor system box next to that's the right. next to the let's chili. Not, when, let's yeah, not forget chili. it. That's what we got today: meatless chili nice. and a chicken pot pie, Ooh, along with a couple nope. complimentary loaves of bread. One will be at twelve o'clock. One will be at one o'clock. Yeah. So the bread's always complimentary, along with the kids. Get there early because uh, sometimes that goes fast. Oh yeah. Warm. I've bread. actually prepared a couple more batches. We're okay. expecting to go through quite a bit of soup today. It's going to be one of those days. A great day. No one leaves Bear Notch without a smile. Everybody right. who's who we comes call from it the Bear Notch smile is happy. You feel like uh, you've been invited in by this family to enjoy their amazing property yeah. and uh, why don't we why don't we give away two trail passes right now yeah you I'd ready like for to that? Do that Hans you ready in the back okay here's the number it's 603-356-6619 first person to call with the correct answer is going to win two free trail passes to Bear Notch Ski Touring in Bartlett New Hampshire we talked again this is a family run operation mm -hmm. we want to know and we, we mentioned it at the very beginning of this interview, how many years has Bear Notch officially been in operation? That's right? right? Yeah. Okay, Three five six 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 one nine. Let's go to the phones. We'll play the higher or lower game. If you don't get it right, we'll give you some hints, but. Good morning, watch and win. How many years has Bear Notch been in operation? I'm, I'm 19. 19, there you, you go. were paying attention. Who very is this? Good. I'm Liz, my name is Liz. And where are you calling from? Well, Lynn from Bartlett, are you a resident there, or are you a uh, second homeowner visiting for the first time? I'm just up visiting. Uh, just up visiting. Well, you're going to get two free trail passes to Bear Notch Ski Touring. Stay on the line. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to tell you how to claim your prize during this next commercial break. And uh, we've got, I'm sure she's going to be a Bear Notch believer. That's what I'm going to say. A few short hours. We hope <laughs> a bunch of people come up. We want a chance to make a Bear Notch believer, all of them. All right. Doug Garland from Bear Notch Ski Touring, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And you can find them just west of Atitash on Route 302 in Bartlett. We'll be back with more White Mountains today. Bear Notch Ski Touring Center in Bartlett hosts skiing and snowshoeing the way it was meant to be. On 65 kilometers of trails with spectacular riverside views, pristine waterfalls, picturesque flat meadows, and challenging hills. A beginner or expert will appreciate the 6.5 mile trail along the Saco River that ends at Atitash, or ski from the 200 year old farmhouse, now base lodge, up into the forest, past waterfalls for some steep winding hills. The beauty and diversity of the Garland family's touring center is enhanced by world-class grooming done by Doug's brother, John. We want you to come back. We want you to feel included. 
Uh, our favorite phrase is give us a chance, we'll make a Bear Notch believer out of you. Bear Notch Ski Touring Center is located in Bartlett on Route 302, just under four miles west of Atitash. Find out more on how to become a believer by calling or visiting them online at Bear Notch Ski Touring.